Hi everyone, welcome back to iMyPhone channel. Recently, we've received many complaints about Apple users saying their iPhones froze during the iOS 14 update. And they cannot work as usual because of losing the access to the important files stored on the phone. So if your iPhone also freezes during the iOS 14 update, no matter in the form of Apple logo, black screen, white screen, boot loop, or spinning wheel, you can try the three methods below to solve the problem. Generally, you can choose to force restart the iPhone, restore the iPhone with recovery mode via iTunes or Finder, or use the iOS repair tool. Now let's take a look at the first solution, force restart the iPhone. It is frequently chosen by most people when they find something wrong with their iPhone, and the method differs from phone models. As for the time limit, I'll only show you how to do it on iPhone 8 or later models. If you have a different model, you can find the detailed steps in the video on the top right corner. Okay, let's begin. For iPhone 8 or later models, let's quickly press and release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. This method will work in some cases. But if your iPhone doesn't go back to normal in this way, then you can restore it with recovery mode via iTunes or Finder, which can repair your phone in most cases, but erase your data. Let's see how to do it. If you are using Windows computer or Mac running Mac OS, Mojave, and below, launch iTunes on your computer. If you are using Mac running Mac OS Catalina and above, simply open Finder. Here we'll take the iTunes as the example, and the steps are much similar on the Finder, so Finder users can also follow the steps here. As your iPhone is frozen now, you need to put your device into recovery mode so that the iTunes can detect it. Similarly, I'll show you how to put the iPhone 8 or later models into recovery mode here. And you can find all details about other iPhone models in the video on the top right corner. For iPhone 8 or later models, press and release the volume up button, and then press and release the volume down button. Finally, hold the side button. Don't release it when you see the Apple logo. Keep holding until the recovery mode screen shows. After your iPhone gets into recovery mode, then select your iPhone when it appears on the screen. Next, if you see Restore button and Update button respectively, click on one of them. Generally, updating your iPhone may solve some of the problems and keep your data as well, whereas restoring your iPhone can solve the problems more thoroughly with the price of data loss. So if you've backed up your iPhone before or you don't mind the data loss, the Restore button is definitely recommended. And if you have no backup and want to keep the data, then Update button may help you in some cases. Now hit the button you chose and let the process complete. If this method works, then your iPhone will be fine again after the process. And the data can go back to your iPhone by restoring previous backup. However, what if you want to fix the issue and keep the data as well? Then you can try the FixPo, an iOS repair tool which can achieve it. With it, you can repair all of the frozen issues. Moreover, the steps are quite easy, and the fix process will complete in several minutes. Now let me show you how to use it. We'll start the repairing process by installing the software and launch it on the computer, in case you need it. I've put the link in the description. Then choose the option Standard Mode. You can find all the frozen problems here. After that, connect the iPhone with the computer. Click the Next button. As your iPhone is frozen now, you need to follow the instructions on the screen to get your iPhone into Recovery Mode or DFU Mode. Only in this way will your frozen iPhone be detected by the software. After being detected, you can choose a version you like if there is more than one option, and then click on the Download button. Once you download the firmware, click on the Start to Fix button. iMyPhone Fixpo will begin fixing the issue. Wait until the process completes and your iPhone will go back to normal. All in all, if you want to apply some self-operated methods, then the first two solutions are right for you. And if you want to solve the issue by a professional third-party tool, then the FixPo can serve you well. Just choose one that's suitable. Good luck to you! Okay, that's all for today. 
and I'll be greatly motivated if you get something useful from this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Bye!